Um, as an introduction, I'm Julie. Hello. Um, tonight we're going to make a couple um, wreaths, kind of a summery theme, um, but quick and easy. And I'm going to give you lots of different options and kind of modifications and we'll talk about all the different ways that you can make these wreaths and it can be easy and um, one inexpensive and two hopefully uh, maybe we can utilize some things that you already have at home um, but we're gonna make a couple really fun summer wreaths so this is one of the wreaths that we're gonna make tonight um, it's a obviously a seashell um, kind of beachy inspired wreath so the supplies for your beachy wreath is um, a wreath form. So this one I use just kind of a grape vine wreath um, and you can use a big one tonight actually to kind of show it to you. Um, I've got a couple little mini wreaths I'm going to use. You'll also need some seashells. Those can be either seashells that you actually collected at the beach and you can pick them up at craft stores. So like. This is a bag of seashells and they came in different varieties um, you can also get I also bought these recently seashells that are already um, a bunch of fun different colors so at minimum you need a wreath and some seashells um, and then we'll kind of talk about how to add on to that so let's start with the wreath so we're making this really pretty seashell wreath and I'm gonna leave um, links in the comments later on the video um, where you can see the whole tutorial um, kind of written as well so let's start with this one so a wreath so I mentioned we're gonna use a grapevine wreath so just like this now I like kind of the blue and white beachy look so the first thing I did for my wreath was I spray painted um, the base white now instead of um, spray painting I just used this little sponge paintbrush and dipped it in the white paint and then kind of dabbed it to get some excess off and then just sponged my wreath and depending on how much you take off, you can see like this is a little bit darker than over here. Um, so I could try to get kind of more off and do a lighter look. Um, but that's just white acrylic paint and a sponge um, if you don't have spray paint. So you can either spray paint or just paint your wreath white, okay? So once your wreath is ready, then the next step will be to add on your seashells. So I showed you before, I have this pack of seashells that I got at the craft store. So you could use ones that you purchased, you could use ones um, that you picked up at the beach, you could... Whatever you have that works for you, that's what you want to use. I also then went and picked up um, these colored, brightly colored seashells as well. So on mine, on my big wreath, I did both. I said I like that kind of white and blue, um, sort of distressed beachy look. So I have some kind of lighter whitish colored seashells, and then I have some that I painted blue. So all of these came from this bag of seashells that I got at the craft store. So the first thing I did was paint. Um, and I just used some blue acrylic craft paint. Craft paint. Um, this is an island blue. That seems fitting for a seashell wreath, right? So I just started by hot gluing those around my wreath. And these are a little big for this mini one. So I'm actually going to use these fun, bright colored ones. But let's get to that in a second. So on the big one, I used these lighter color ones. And then I painted some of them. So this is just this seashell. 
same one. This came from the same craft bag. I just painted this one, this island blue color. And that was it. And then I just glued them, hot glued them onto my wreath. So I'm going to hot glue some of these on here. Um, these, this pack of already painted seashells came in a whole bunch of really fun colors. I think because I like that kind of white and blue, I might stick with this blue and then maybe this green. This pack I got, some of them are stuck together in kind of an odd way. But I liked this kind of greenish color too. So you can just hot glue those on. And I had my hot glue gun warming up. So it should be ready to go. And you'll just hot glue your seashells around your wreath. Um, I did want to show you one other thing I used on this wreath that I really liked were these um, kind of glass pieces. Um, sort of a sea glass look. And those were just plain glass um, kind of the flat marbles that you can get at the craft store too. And I painted those in the same island blue color that I painted some of the seashells. That kind of covers the, um, the seashell wreath. 